Yes, I, Mr. Pussycats. Welcome back to a new video. And we've only just about made it. And I mean only just. We've uh, Geordie Bears drove today. And we're here at the start of Cat Bells. <laughs> but when I say we only just made it, it's because I've had to pull over a few times so I can be sick. I'm not hungover or anything like that. Not quite sure what it is, so we're just going to see how we get on. Uh, so I was sick again at the at where we parked, <laughs> which was good fun. So we're going to try and get this done and see how we feel. But let's get cat bells done at least. Yes, I. Look at the views. It's stunning. It's about half seven in the morning. So the plan was to uh, to do this and then head out for a wild camp elsewhere. But we'll see how we get on. Hopefully we can still do it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Look at this though. There's Geordie Bear. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful. All right, let's get to the summit of this bad boy. Cat bells. Castle Craggington's. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. These views, unbelievable. That's a false summit. Not George Bay is not a false summit. But that's a false summit, and the summit's the one after. I'm starting to struggle a bit with this illness, but we're definitely going to do cat bells. We shall do it. Boom. Stunning. Have a day off, Susan Boyle. Have a day off. There's a the summit there. Onwards. Waters, I will let you go like a bridge over troubled waters on cat bells. <laughs> Well, listen it, George. Nice belter. Real. Summit of cat bells. One healthy man and one not so healthy. <laughs> but I'm glad we did summit still. I threw up on way up again. I'm not well, guys. Sorry. Bloody hell, wanted to do a wild camp. Anyway, we're at the top of Cat Bells. Overlooking Keswick. It's a stunning day and all, isn't it? So that's Cat Bells. Probably one of the most stunning ones we've done, especially with regards to the views. Just annoyed at myself, even though it's out of my control, that I feel like this. Can't keep throwing up on that though. It's no good. Hope oh, you enjoyed the video still. Sorry if I were boring. And yes, I, Mr. Pussycats. Meow. 
Hi guys, <clears throat> pardon me. After this last clip that you've just seen, I really got worse. <laughs> um, I struggled to get back down. Uh, well, I didn't, I got back down fine, but I was, I had to get in my own zone and I didn't really talk or anything. And then when I got back to the car, um, poor Jordi Bear had to pull over another two or three times managed to get a little bit of sleeping but anyway it's come to the conclusion that I've got that norovirus um, and it's now about five o'clock in the evening or something like that I don't know five to five according to the TV and this is the first time I felt like I've been able to communicate at all and it's just to just say a massive thank you to Geordie Bear really like I was gutted I felt like I'd ruined his day and all they cared about was getting me home. He just said, mate, let's just get you home. Forget this. It was a perfect day. Like, I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted. Not felt ill at all. Woke up at four o'clock this morning. Threw up in the garden and then... Here we are. So, thank you very much, Jordi Bear. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> um. It's a proper friend. He's a proper friend. He just wanted to get me home, bless him. Right, I'm going to go before I tear up. <laughs> We're going to hopefully head back out there next week and finish what we started. Yes, I, Mr Pussycats.